welcome back welcome back to the next episode of our radical red nuzlocke in the last one we took on brock and misty and we beat them down uh we prevented any deaths from those we won both battles and i prepped a team for lieutenant surge we're gonna hopefully get through this pretty easily hopefully unscathed i think we'll be good and then we are going to um go down the sand route it's probably the route i'm gonna go with i'm thinking that or the rain one i'm not sure yet i'm thinking the sand one um so yeah let's get into it um i brought the glyscore as a lead for the iron treads iron treads as earthquake iron head volt switch stealth rocks can't do anything to my boy uh let me actually look at my moveset bulldoze i'm gonna click bulldoze turn one if he sets up stealth rocks that's fine i'll defog it on the next turn and i'll get rid of his terrain which i don't know if you can defog it away it says it's permanent but if i can cool if not doesn't really matter to me um so i'm gonna bulldoze hopefully defog if he switches out into like rotom wash i have answers for that um i got my blissey here who i believe has toxic yep toxic stock soft oil protect i actually want to change i actually want to change something um trailblaze power punch i'll give you bulldoze bulldoze would be good in this instead of charge beam and so that's my answer for Rotom. This kind of answers Rotom and Manetric. Belly Bolt. Any special attackers gets walled by Blissey. Uh, Fatty Oss is here for the Manetric mainly. This is kind of a... Crichton is kind of a backup. I mean, it's an Electric Gym. I got a Ground type. If I could switch it into Dragon Dance, once Rotom's gone, I could probably just sweep. Clef Key walls the Palm out in the Iron Hands, as well as this guy, pretty much. He's here for the Belly Bolt. I think it's going to be just fine. I think it's going to be a just fine battle. Um, I'm honestly hoping he just stealth rocks turn one because he has a focus ash with the iron treads so i'm hoping he just stealth rocks and then switch and then i can just defog for free that'd be ideal you get the quark drive which raises your attack that's fine i will bulldoze you stealth rock this is perfect 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 because you break your sash and slow you down and then we just defog. You swap. I figured you would swap there. You go into Iron Hands. Perfect. This is actually just fine. Um, we're going to defog. Let's see if he gets rid of the terrain. Entry hazards blow away and the terrain's gone. Perfect. Okay. Terrain isn't really the end of the world. Either way. Um, I go into Klefki here. And I can start setting up some spikes, honestly. Because this is going to do nothing to Klefki. He fake outs. Beautiful. Um, his strongest move for this is Drain Punch, and I can tank that. I'm going to set up a Spike. Perfect. Plasma Fist, no terrain. Let's see how much this does. I am fluffy on this, so I mean, I'm going to take these hits like nothing. Look at that. Look at that. Do I have Protect? I do not. I'm going to Toxic. Uh, Plasma Fist again. I don't really need multiple spikes up, to be honest. 132 to 72. That's doing 60 damage. That's a lot. Um, what I'm going to do here is... I'm gonna draining Kiss. It's a Salt Vest, so I'm not going to do anything with Draining Kiss. I'm going to go... I just don't want to risk a critical hit. You know what I mean? This thing's literally here for Iron Hands and Palm Out, though. So letting it take this much damage isn't isn't great. Um, if I switch into Flygon, Iron Hands is such a bulky Pokemon. What nature are you? You're adamant. Okay. Flygon at neutral. Earthquake does 52 to 62 that's insane that is insanely low damage all right i'm gonna go into zz then zz can wall this as well even though he does have ice punch it's not gonna do a ton of damage um i could just bulldoze here i could take the ice punch and then i could roost it off he swaps out into rotom okay 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 
Um, fine with me. You do have hidden power ice, which I do not want to mess around with. Go for the Scald. Fair enough. Life Orb. Um, I'm assuming you just swap out here. You probably Volt Switch out. Click in Toxic. You Scald again. All right, this is amazing. Honestly, getting the Rotom on a timer is incredible. This is actually extremely good. Mm, mm, mm. I don't even care if I get burned, honestly. Does not affect me at all. I'm going to bulldoze. Okay. I'm waiting to see if he's going to switch out and get a free bulldoze on something. Hits the burn. Negates my leftovers. Um, I could soft boil at any time on this thing. This thing will never be able to beat me. So uh, it doesn't bother me. I'll just soft boil right here. This thing's literally here for the Rotom Wash. Primarily. Secondarily. Secondarily, it's here for Manetric if I need it. Um, but once Rotom's gone, there's a lot of opportunities for me to get Flygon in and to just... Okay. I'm going to Bulldoze here. Because if he stays in, he dies to Poison. If he Volt Switches out, I get a Bulldoze off on something. Stays in. Really weird decision. Really weird decision. I'm going to be honest. All right. Treads comes in. Um, He's probably going to try setting up rocks again. Once again, Gliscor walls Iron Treads until the end of time. Stealth rocks. That's fine. And now I just go Bulldoze here. Because if I could slow him down, he's going to do nothing. I guess he can flinch me. Actually, I'm going to Defog. Defog first. Because... Three flinches in a row. Four in a row. We got the defog off. Thank you. And now we bulldoze. Okay, and now you're slower than me. And now I can roost. Sheesh, man. Sets up the rocks again. I defog. He hard switches out. Perfect. Um, I do have a spike up, so I don't know if Treads dies on entry. I think he might. I think he might die on entry. And now, I think we win right now. I think we win right now. Uh, you know what? We don't because I want to go Crichton and Dragon Dance. But that's not the play. There's no way a Flamethrower from this kills. I'm going to go Stella. Stella's here for Rotom and Minetric. You go into this. Flamethrower. I click Toxic. You Rising Voltage. Take some damage. That's fine. I Soft Boiled. And now I Bulldoze. Here, slow down. And Bulldoze again. I Soft Boiled on the Volt Switch. Into Palmot. That was a good switch right there for you, buddy. That was a good switch. Okay. Um... Fighting move should come out here. I can go into ZZ safely. Because I can take two Ice Punches from this guy, even if he did go for it. He goes for the close combat. That was not the play, buddy. Because now you are minus defenses. Which makes me a much bigger threat for you. Ice Punch, that's okay. I eat one up. So I have Fluffy. He crits me. That wasn't a crit. You know what I think? You know what I just realized? I think Punch Glove negate it, it ignores the fact that I have Fluffy. Well, good thing I knew I could take two. That means I could take one without Fluffy. That's crazy. <laughs> Yikes. Um, okay, we go into Klefki on this. Yow. 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 That could have been bad. All right. Is this is real life. Is this is real life. I'm going to go for the Draining Kiss. Plasma Fist. Um. 
He's going for the Drain Punch. No, he's going for the Plasma Fist. Drain Punch still won't kill from him. You know what? This is still for the Belly Bolt, but I could deal with the Belly Bolt with this guy and this guy and this guy and this guy. I'm going to go... I'm going to go into you. Plasma Fist. Should take this extremely well. Okay. Take more poison damage. I'm going to just Lumina Crash. And it kills. Beautiful. Belly Bolt comes out. I'm here for you, so... I'm not worried about this. Parabolic Charge. Literally. Literally here to defeat you, so... There we go. Perfectly fine. Iron Treads comes out. Um, I mean, what are you, Iron Head? I mean, just going to Giga Drain? You set up Stealth, stealth Rocks? Okay. Manetra comes out. You intimidate. I don't think you're killing me with one Flamethrower, I'm going to be honest. But it doesn't even matter. I'm going to you, you Flamethrower, we eat it up. My bulldoze, you bolt switch out, you're gone. Okay, um, that got a little sketchier than I expected it to be. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Um, you don't have to show him a Pokemon to get anything, right? I had to. I went back to Chuck and I showed him a Pokemon. ZZ, come on, what are you doing, dude? Hey, come on, get off that. Come on. I went back to Chuck and showed him a Pokemon with a high attack stat to get um the Focus Sash. So I already did that. Okay, so next, mini bosses. Let me find the, it's not the snow one. Where's the sand? Permanent sun, permanent sun, permanent sandstorm. Okay. So this one is interesting because you have to fight three trainers in a row. So you fight, the first guy has a Mian Chao. Second guy has a Draco's ult. And the third guy has a Doug Trio with Arena Trap. So you need to make sure you're not leading with something that can just get murdered by a Doug Trio. <laughs> uh, which is not a lot of Pokemon. I want to lead with something that changes weather. Which, let me remember which ones. You have Drizzle, but I don't want to lead with you because Arena Trap, Doug Trio. Unless I give you a... Um, do I have the item? What's the item I'm thinking of? So I can switch out. It's not the, it's the thing that can make you, so you can switch out. So you're not trapped. I'm blanking on the name of the item. Shed Shell. Shed Shell. I don't know where you get that in this game. Shed, Shell, Pokemon, Radical, Red. Um, item locations. Shed, Shell, from Morty in Fuji's house after defeating him. Uh, okay, so I don't get it yet. Okay. Um, hmm. The thing is, they don't heal up either. Arena Trap doesn't work on flying types, does it? Um, I could give him an Air Balloon. Which would make him okay against the Doug Trio. Hmm. Lead me and Chow. Whatever it is I lead with that gets Drizzle, I could switch it out immediately. I could lead Blastoise instead of the Hail. Um, Weather Ball Heliolisk is gonna be a problem. I'm gonna have to keep that in mind. Uh, let's see. A little nervous for this battle. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I am a little nervous. 
You're not bad. Your physical defense is pretty good. And your speed's decent, too. Um, I need to have, like, a guaranteed answer for some of these guys, though. For the Drake Assault. That Bolt Beak is terrifying. Uh, what do I have for ground types that could be good against it? Sand Slash could be actually pretty good. Sand Slash in the rain could kind of take hits from it. Sand Slash, is your time to shine? Over Flygon? Um, Blastoise with the Hail, I think, is going to be my lead. They're all physical attackers, so I do not need Blissey. So if I lead Blastoise against Mian Shao, I could just hard switch out on the Fake Out. I can hard switch out into Gliscor. It walls the Mian Shao. And then I can just start clicking Bulldoze pretty much over and over again. Yeah, if he goes Heliolisk, he's going to Weather Ball. Which is going to be Weather Ice. So actually for that, I might want Blissey. Because uh, that Weather Ball is going to be strong. Um... Do I need Clef King? Bolt Beak, Dragon Claw, Earthquake. Um, it's not bad for that Hariyama. I don't think I need Lottie. If I get through these this back to back to back, then it's fine. It's literally the only thing that's an issue. <sighs> Lead with him. Hard switch Gly score. Click Bulldoze. If he stays in, fine. If he switches out, good. Uh, it kind of walls. The only thing that can do damage this is the Heliolisk. So that battle's fine. That battle should be easy. The next battle is the Drake Zolt, which I immediately switch the... Oh yeah, then I do the exact same thing. I switch into Gliscor on that too. Fire Blast and the Hail. I mean, I would like to set up Rain instead of Hail. I mean, I guess I could, instead of Blastoise, I go past Simeon. I go past Simeon instead of Blastoise. Since the first two battles don't matter, I'm just going to switch out anyway. The next one is going to be Dugtrio, who has Aerial Ace, but an Aerial Ace from Dugtrio is not going to kill that Simeon. There's no way. Dugtrio, five levels below me, you're going to be level 63. Even Adamant, Aerial Ace to a Passimian, level 68. It's doing nothing. So I could just U-turn out on it. And after I U-turn, I'm just chilling. And let me see, just to, just to check Earthquake. Does nothing. Okay. You're my answer. Lead with you. I just got to teach you U-turn. Um, I've, this is like one of the furthest places I've made it to. So this is why I'm taking this very seriously. You turn over Sucker Punch. Item give. Doesn't really matter to me. I'll just give you lefties. And let me rare candy up the Sand Slash. The Sand Slash with multi-scale could be good. Okay. And after those battles, I can kind of... All the people on this route are important battles. So I need to pay attention to all of them. So the first one... Lead Honcho, change weather. Switch in a glass core, start spamming Bulldoze. If he goes Heliolisk, I go Blissey. If he switches into anything else, I go back in a glass core. Because glass core walls his whole team. Perfect. Um, next battle. He leads the Drake result. We change the weather. I go immediately into... <laughs> Well, I do take two times damage from fire moves, but it'll be in the rain. Let me be careful with this. Drake Zolt, you are five levels below me. You'll be level 63. You are Magnet, Jolly Nature. Against Gliscor. Let me check Fire Blast. Um, ability... Fluffy, level 68. 
and the rain does nothing to me okay so i beat you easy alaska you turn out and then yeah we're fine we're good we're good we're good we're good okay let me these battles scare me let me heal up again in here just in case um i don't have the bike did i get the bike voucher I never get it. Every single time I play this game, I do this exact same thing. I get to the cycling road and they're like, you don't have the bike. And I'm like, like I never get the bike. It's stupid that you need it. Honestly. You happy? Now let me, let me through. Let me through the gate. I just beat Surge. All right. It was an important battle. I'm very nervous. This route is going to be a, a doozy. I'll try doing it all in one episode, but we'll see. Having the rain setter kind of makes it a lot easier, but. Okay, so Mian Chao's first. I'm assuming you just fake out. That would make sense. You go you, you fake out. I bulldoze. You stay in, you knock off. That's fine. I bulldoze again. You're good. You go Doug Trio, which doesn't make sense to me. I just bulldoze. You stone edge. I eat that up. You're gone. Iliolisk. I go into Stella. You surf. We eat it up. You toxic. You bulldoze. Protect. Soft boiled. Protect. I need to be at as much HP as possible. Something I wasn't really thinking about when I was setting this up. It goes easy on the bolt beak. And bulldoze. And faster. Fire Blast, we eat that up. I Roost, you Fire Blast, I Bulldoze, you're done. Good HP. Lastly, Doug Trio, we U turn out on the Earthquake. That does a good amount of damage. I didn't put the Life Orb in. That U turn, I could have just killed him, honestly. Could have just killed him. So he goes easy. You Bulldoze, you Hard Swap into Hariyama. You don't even, like, eat me. What are you doing? You're going to fake out, knock off, drain, punch, heavy slime. That's it. What are you going to knock off right now? I'm going to drain and kiss. Oh, he almost trapped me with that. That actually almost worked out in his favor. Okay. I almost threw right there by him switching the Doug Trio. I should have immediately switched. Okay. The next guy I fight, a Selgor. U-turn, bug buzz, focus blast, sludge bomb. There's no way you one-shot me. So I could just U-turn in case you U-turn out. Um, I should make you plus special defense for this one battle. Plus special defense. Minus speed. No, minus special attack. Um, Sheer Force, Life Orb, Selgor, Focus Blast. I'm going to check. That sounds kind of scary. Not going to lie. It sounds a little scary. Uh, timid... Level 63. Yikes, that sounds actually kind of terrifying. Ability is sheer force. Why are you giving these things abilities like this? Life orb sheer force, I said. Yep. Um Focus Blast against Pass Simeon. Level 68. It doesn't do more than 50%. Okay. So the weather will be gone immediately. Um, body press, fire fang, ice fang, last respects. <sighs> he won't have the sand rush. But he does have ice fang, which kind of scares me. Ice fang and fire fang both kind of scare me. Um... I don't like this. I do not like this. I'm not going to lie. That's a little scary. Um, Goliath score. How much is Ice Fang from Houndstone going to do to me? Houndstone. Level 60. How many levels is below me? 64. So it's four levels below me. 
item spell tag i have to do all this guys i'm sorry oh zz you scared the crap out of me i'm sorry buddy not right now i'm focused locked in uh your ability is sand rush which doesn't matter uh last respects how does last respects work it does more damage based on fainted pokemon on your team right Let me look it up. Mm -mm -mm. The more allies, the more powerful it becomes. I think it's 50 per. So that would make this three down. That would make it 100, 150, 200. Okay. And then Ice Fang against Glyscore. 68 plus defense. Ability is fluffy. Um, let me check Fire Fang as well, since it does more damage. Dude, I eat that up. I eat it up, and it's going to be in the rain. Okay, Last Respects does a lot, though, actually. Last Respects does a lot. Oof. Um, it's a little scary, not gonna lie. All right, Regigigas was something else I was debating on bringing. Why did I press this 26 to 31? Okay. I think I bring that over... I don't think I need Celebi. Yeah, I don't need Celebi for this battle. Let me bring Regigigas instead of Celebi. So, Roserade. I got Blissey for that. It does have Sleep Powder, but no setup. It's fine. Um... Weather ball will be water. This this go this will beat it. This will beat it. Whew, sorry guys, I am nervous as heck. Um This beats a cell war. Also. Okay, let me just level up my guys. And I have payback on him. That's good. Let's go to the PC. Nature change, plus defense, minus special attack. Impish. And let me get some leftovers, because I think all the leftovers are in the box. Oh, that was the Blastoise. I could have left that on you. Give you... Oh, leftovers are at the bottom. All right. Leftovers, 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 leftovers. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. I think this battle's going to be okay. I think. I need us to be very... I think this is the right battle. I sure hope I'm doing it right. Uh, Ruben. Yes, okay. That's the Aselgor. So... If he stays in, I go Klefki, and I think I might set up a spike, Loki. Um, you turn. He you turns out perfect. I had a feeling he would. That's why I brought this? What are you going into? Houndstone immediately. Okay, Houndstone immediately. This is an ant. This is my. I go Glide Score now because your your last respects isn't going to be good at all. Your last respects is going to be terrible. Because no one's dead on your team. And I'm going to bulldoze. I guess Ice Fang's still going to do a decent chip. Not really. Bulldoze again. You got Frostbite. That's really stupid. Okay, you're gone. Selgor comes back. I go Honcho. You turned again. Good play. Good play. Weather Ball would be water. My answer is always Stella. I don't even know why I'm thinking about this. You sleep powder. That's okay. You Weather Ball. Eat it up. You Weather Ball. We bulldoze. Sleep powder again. Alright, so once I'm asleep, you can't sleep anything else. You have Weather Ball, Giga Drain, HP Fire. 
it still raining? No weather at all. So weather ball is normal. HP fire. I got ice punch on you, right? Giga drain. I go ice punch. You're dead. Okay. Next is Gigalith. Gigalith, Stone Edge, Earthquake, Body Press. This is where it's annoying. Um, I go Nala, Body Press, Spiky Shield. I get to full. That's actually huge. I'm going to Earthquake. New Explosion. I have Multi Scale. We eat it up. And now you just have a Selgor left. Who cannot do anything to. He can't do anything to plate. U turn does nothing. Draining kiss. Draining kiss. Okay. Pokevile. One trainer down. This might be a two part episode, but I'm going to try to get as much done as we can today. All right. So this one, he leads with Swampert. Swampert lead. Do I have a grass type for you? Do I? Yawn, Earthquake, Stealth Rocks. Flip turn. And the sand. Do I actually want sand up in this one? I low-key kind of do. I don't think I want to get the weather switched. Because rain will help Mega Scizor. It'll help all of them get rid of... They're all weak to fire. Except for Swampert. So... Flip turn, Stealth Rocks, Yawn... Hmm. Is Flapple? How fast is Swampert? Swampert. 60 speed. At level 60... What level are you going to be at, actually? Five levels below me, so you'll be at 63. At 63... Your base 100 speed. Flapple... Is base 70 speed. So at 68... Even if you're timid, I outspeed you without any investment. So I could just lead off, click a grass move. Uh, this thing will always beat Swampert. So I just lead with this. And I click grab apple. If he goes into his three grass resists, I literally can go Moltres on like all of them. This destroys all of them. Actually, this absolutely destroys them. And then Moltres is going to be great. Um, instead of Klefki? Klefki is actually really good for the Cacturn. turn. Um, I don't need Blissey. They're all physical attackers. Okay. Leftovers on you. And you. And Rare Candies. Where are you at? We're working, boys. We're working. Sunny day. Sunny day could actually be kind of crazy. Turn one. We don't. We don't need sunny day. Heat wave. Over. Protect. Outrage. No, thank you. Can you actually learn a fire move? Because if I could dragon dance and just like fire punch, I could just destroy this guy with this guy. Nah, this is just my Swampert answer. Keep it at that. You answer to Swampert. You answer to Scizor. You answer to Cacturn. You answer to Scizor too, honestly. You answer to everything. You answer to everything. You answer to everything. So we're good. I'm nervous. I'm very, very nervous. <laughs> yeah, you lead Swampert. We grab Apple turn one. You swap out into Repper. Perfect. We pop your Air Balloon. My answer for this is Glyscore, you Gunk Shot, you Poison me. I Bulldoze. You go into Swampert. Perfect. I go into you. You Flip Turn. Good play. Actually, good play. Go into Plate this time. And then go into ZZ. You Shift Gear. You shift Gear again. You lived that, but we slowed you down. Do you outspeed me? You swapped out. That is scary. Um, I'm going to roost because, well, that's fine. I defog. I flip turn out. You go scissor. I go Rudy. 
knocked over my leftover knocked off my leftovers I heat wave you're dead cacturn comes out you have the sand up but plate destroys you go for the sucker punch I'm going for the spikes and then a draining kiss because you can't touch me with anything um you could earthquake Earthquake and flip turn. You can't do anything to fill. You yawn. I'm going for the leech seed. Set some stealth rocks. That's fine. Um, I'm going to burn a turn. I'm going to dragon dance. Woke up and dragon danced. Beautiful. Grab apple. Gets the kill. Cac turn. I could just pounce. You could sucker punch, but I don't think you kill. Knockoff might have killed. Wow. I Realize how fast you're going to be. Spikes killed you. Whew. Okay. Okay, Vile. Sorry for all the speed of these battles. They're a little more... They're a little less stressful. Uh, but they're still scary as hell. Okay, this battle, I need Blastoise. I need Blastoise for this battle. Because they have a Dracovish and a Greninja. Both of those things, I cannot... And I repeat. I cannot... Let those guys... Uh, get a rain up. That'll be bad. Okay, for the Dracovish, my answer. Ficious Rend, Dragon Claw, Psychic Fangs, Crunch. Ficious Rend is crazy strong. It's actually stupid how strong it is. Um, You lead with Earth Power, Volt Switch, Stealth Rock, Stun Fisk. That Pokemon can not, under any circumstances... Touch Gliscor. Never in a million years can it touch Gliscor. So I lead Gliscor and I bulldoze and I think I'm good. Um, or if I go into this and flip turn out, that's what I do. He has Sand Veil with Stun Fisk, which is kind of annoying. Uh, but I have flip turn on you, right? I do. I do. Um, I want to set up spikes for the Aeron. So I want to get you in. If I flip turn into this, I could set up a spike and rapid spin. Excuse me. This is good for the Dracovish. Um... This is good for the B drill. And then I think I swap out Reggie Gigas for Blissey for the Greninja. And I think that works. Everything's leveled up. Leftovers on everybody. We Gucci. We're healed. Let's do it. If he Volt Switches turn one, I mean, I'm just going to flip turn immediately. All I want to do is change the weather. He has no water absorb or nothing like that, so I literally just flip turn. I'm faster than you. Even at minus speed, I don't think there's any planet in which Stunfisk is outspeeding me. No need to flip turn. I mean, uh, no need to fake out. We flip turn. Perfect. And we go. It's one of two things. Do I care about stealth rocks? I do, in case this needs to come in. So I'm going ZZ. And stealth rocks. I get a free defog off here. I mean, there's a guarantee he switches out, so I could bulldoze. Nah, defog. Goes Dracovish. It's fine. Get rid of the rocks. Honestly, he'll be slower than me. There's no way I'm taking it. I could. <sighs> Level 63, Dracovish. Level 63. Item Mystic Water. Jolly Nature. Against. What nature am I? Okay, just making sure. 
against Glyscore, level 68. Um, plus defense, minus special attack, ability fluffy, move, vicious rend does nothing to me. It does nothing. Vicious rend is only base 85, and he only has 90 attack. He's really not that strong. That move's only crazy because of its ability when it goes first. So I'm going to bulldoze. Dragon Claw, Psychic Fangs. Dragon Claw is actually stronger than Fish. Nah, no, it's not. You crit, that's fine. Vicious Rend. We tank it. Perfect. What I actually do here is... No, I just bulldoze. I was like, if he switches into anything, that's perfect. Greninja, slow you down. I was going to go for Ice Fang there too, so that actually works out. That works out for me. Perfect. Okay, the Hail Chip. All right, Hydro Pump, Gunk Shot, Ice Beam. Could go Blastoise and Flip Turn. Because he probably has Ice Beam here. I'll turn to an ice type. I'm not really too worried about a gunk shot afterwards either. Good fake out. Let's do it. Let's do it. I don't really need Blastoise for anything anymore. I literally just need him to get rid of the sand at the beginning. Mm -mm -mm. Snow stopped. We get leftovers. I fake out. Pop. Chip. More leftovers. I protect. Gunk shot. Turns into a poison type. Um, oh, give me one second, guys. I'm going to pause right here. I'll be right back. I'm seeing this call. Okay, I'm back. Sorry, just had to take a phone call. And we are back. He is gunk shotting, right? That's what we saw he was doing. Um, I, I just flip turn. I flip turn. I take a gunk shot from this. For sure. Um, I got poison. Doesn't matter. The Aeron is low key a scary Pokemon right now. Um, who might he go into? I don't think it matters what he goes into. I'm going to go into plate and set up a spike. Go stun fisk. Okay. He's probably going to stealth rock here. I'm setting up a spike. I need a spike up for that Aaron. He, he waves perfectly fine. Does not matter to me. Does not matter. I go into ZZ here. Oh, I have defog. I don't realize how stupid of a play that was now but now i just spam bulldoze until i die and i think i win i just spam bulldoze you stay in sacrifice this okay Drill comes in i bulldoze what are you what are you gonna do poison jabby pursuit poison jab doing nothing now the bulldoze kills trigovish we already did this play we already know what's gonna happen here over for you. Aeron's hurt by the spikes, so it breaks your sturdy, so you can't pull you off your shenanigans with Shell Bell and Endeavor. Okay. I have no idea where we're at on time for this video because I stopped and restarted. And I wasn't really paying attention when I stopped, but it's all good. All right, that's the last important battle. So there's Route 17. We're getting a new encounter. We haven't had a new encounter in a while. Um, let's check the deck snap. Let's see what's here. Typhlosion, we got Venusaur, we got Sigilyph, which I do like. Um, Koopa. Let's check Nighttime. Oh, my Atlanta. Um, oh, we can get Charizard. I have, I already have a Moltres. I don't need Charizard. Uh, I was kind of thinking Venusaur, but I have a Moongus. What else was I looking at? Psychic flying, 
do like Psychic Flying as a type. Psychic types, I have you, I have you, I have you. I think I'm going to go Sigilyph. I think that's a... Uh... I think that's probably the best Pokemon I can get right now. And let me pull up the last video for nicknames. Please have something good. Mm -mm. Throw a quick ball. Um, I see Goose for a nickname. Let's go with that one. Goose. Okay. Let's check them out. Did you go to this PC? Yes. You have Unburden. That could work. That could work for some craziness. All right. Um, did I heal up my team? I did. Okay. Okay, let's... Oh, I can avoid you. I don't know if that was actually going to work. I don't have Surf yet, which I will be getting Surf soon. So that's exciting. All right, we get to the bottom of this route. Route 18. How did that guy see me? Oh, no. This is an important battle. I didn't even see him. Oh, my God. Okay, this is fine. This is perfectly fine. This is perfectly fine. This is perfectly fine. We get rid of the rain. Okay. Okay, he has Magnazone, which Magnazone can do nothing to Gliscor. He has Thunder, Volt Switch, Explosion, and Body Press. So I go into ZZ immediately. Uh-oh. Wait, wait. Do I have... Oh, I don't have my grass type on me. Um, I bulldoze. What are you going to... Explosion? Explosions. It's fine. Okay. Whiskash. Whiskash has Waterfall, Earthquake, Bounce, and Dragon Dance. I really wish I had Toxic on this thing right now. Bulldoze isn't going to do enough damage. What is Cash Splash as an ability? Hold on a second. Hold on a second. What is... I just saw his ability name. What does that mean? Um. Hold on. Whisk Cash. Cash Splash doubles water moves. Takes half from fire moves. Oh. I didn't know this guy was human here. This is so bad. You're here, but like, I set up snow and what fake out dragon tail. I mean, I guess that's my play. You dragon dance. I fake out and I dragon tail. Your earthquakes plus one earthquake. I should be able to eat it. We tank that pretty well, actually. Get you out of here. Yo, Salamence. Okay, Salamence is a special attacker. Dragon Pulse, Hydro Pump, Hurricane, but he also does have Earthquake. Okay. Um, I have Protect. I have no... He has no setup moves, so I just Protect. What are you going to go for? He's going for the Hurricane. Let me see how much a Hurricane is going to do to Blastoise. Salamence. I need to really do all this Calc, and I'm sorry, guys. Naive, level 63. Nature, naive. Minus spadef nature. Strange. Hurricane to a Blastoise. Level 68. Um, Hurricane's doing 36 to 42%. That's not bad. I'm going to Dragon Tail. Uh, I kind of I need to keep this guy healthy, though. I need to keep this guy healthy. If I go Stella, doesn't will that earthquake from him hurt? Um, I had no preparation for this battle. I'm sorry, guys. I thought it was after this route was done that you fought this guy. Earthquake does 50 to 60 to Blissey. Right, I'm gonna go into Blissey. Blissey could be good for the Starmie though. He goes for Hurricane. He lands it and gets the confusion. He guaranteed goes for Earthquake here. 
That goes easy. The earthquakes, that's fine. You go for a water move here. I'm gonna go Stella again. You Hydro Pump. Okay, you crit me. I'm gonna protect. You go for Earthquake. I'm going for Toxic. Your Earthquake does so much damage. I protect. You go for Earthquake. I go into ZZ. You miss. I go back into Stella. On the Hydro Pump, we dodge. We protect. And we go back into ZZ. And you die. Okay. Uh, Starmie comes out here. Starmie. Hydro Pump Thunder. Psychic Flip Turn. Go Stella. Go Hydro Pump. That does so much damage. Yikes. You are going for another Hydro Pump. We are going for a Soft Boiled. Okay. Now we Toxic. Flip Turn out. That's okay. Okay. We got that on you. Um, you are going to go for a waterfall here. We go into trash panda. I think we're good. <sighs> I was going to do the rain in the next episode. Waterfall hurts. We fake out. We protect. You hard swap out. We go back into Stella on the... Oh, it's going to go for thunder here. You're going to go for thunder here, aren't you? Worry about paralysis. Lands the thunder. Gets the paralysis. I'm going to go for soft boiled. 229. Okay, we got it off. Nice. Flip turn out again on the toxic. You're toxic. I just hope you know that. Okay. Back in the trash panda. Um, I'm going to flip turn out this time. To get the kill. And then to go into Stella to get leftovers recovery. And then we are going to Toxic. Land it. And then we go into Plate on the flip turn. And you don't want to shot me with anything. So we kill you. Okay. My Poke Vial is now empty. So I am going to Poke Rider back to the city. Heal up. Save the game. And I'm going to prep for the rain battles in the next episode. There's a couple of them I got to do. Similar to the uh, sand battles we just did. And then we're going to fight our rival, Ooh, our rival before um, the Safari Zone. And Koga. Maybe it'll all be in the next episode. I don't know. Uh, this was a wild episode. A lot of battling. A lot of prepping. Appreciate you guys being patient. This is a really good run going right now. We got a solid squad. So I'm hoping we can take it all the way. But do some nicknames. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.